Wow, hey, hello everyone. Hey, it's me, Rev Joe here. Oh, it's just really good to be back together again. Well, I say back together, but I'm still in my office and you're back at school, but it's so good. And so a big, big welcome to everybody. You know, welcome to our gathering space. All children of God are welcome here. Say, do you know what that means? All children of God are welcome here. Welcome to our gathering space. Well, it means that we are happy that you are here. We're happy that you're in school. We're happy that you're back after the summer holidays. To everyone new in school, we're happy that you are here, that you're becoming part of our school family, our school community. We're really excited to get to know you better and we just really want this time for you just to be the best time it can be. You know, all of us are excited about the new year, this new school year. All of us have hopes and that's what I've been thinking about today. I'm thinking about hope. Hope is one of our school values, a really precious one. And you might remember before the summer holidays, I did a little assembly video thinking about all our school values. And there I said that our values aren't just good things for school. They're values to live by. They're values that we can have for every part of our life, school, home, everything. And hope is such an important part of that. Because, you know, when we're filled with hope, every day can just be that bit brighter. Every day can feel a bit more exciting, a bit more fun, maybe a bit more kind as well. And so hope is really, really important, especially as we begin a new term together. You know, when we look ahead towards this next year, I wonder what your hopes are. You might be nervous about them. You might be excited about them, but I'm sure all of us have hopes. So maybe just for 10 seconds, think about what you are hoping for, for the next year. Just 10 seconds, go. Well done, everyone. You know, if we were to share those hopes now, everyone would have something to say. And you know, that means that there is loads of hope in the school and that makes me feel pretty good about things. But hope isn't always easy. There is a time in the Bible where God's people found themselves in the wrong place. It was a place they didn't enjoy and they were surrounded by people that didn't treat them very well. Everything just seemed really rubbish. But a message came to them and the message said, I know the plans I have for you. Plans for your good, good plans to give you a hope and a future. And you know, those words have helped countless people for centuries, especially when times are hard. And you know, however you're feeling, whether you're feeling like things are really rubbish or you're facing just the hardest times or if things are good, we can help remember these stories and help each other to build hope again. Because hope, even in the darkest times, is possible because there are good things ahead for all of us. There are good things planned, things to give us hope, things for a good future. And we can all hold on to that, especially in these early days of starting a new school year. We could all help and be a big family in the school to help encourage each other and help build hope in each other. Now those words, big family, are important because I'm gonna play a song now, The Big Family of God. I played it on some other videos that we had before the summer. And I love this because it helps us remember, it helps you remember that you are loved and remembering that you're loved is a brilliant starting place to build hope. It's a really good place to let hope 
take us on and to give us excitement for everything to come. And so here we go, big family of God. Enjoy the song, maybe hum along if you want to, and read the words as they come. And when we come back together, we'll say the Lord's Prayer. So here we go. like pink and some like blue some of us like reading books some of us like feeding ducks that's because we're different me and you but God loves to where all of us have different families some of us are very loud some of us don't make a sound that's because we're different you and me but God loves Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hey everyone, it's my hope that you have a great day today and a brilliant week. Let hope be building within you. Let it grow and let every day be a brighter day because we know that there are good things to come. God has blessed us today in our gathering space. May God be with us all till the end of the day. Goodbye, everybody. See you again soon. Bye.